So you think you were right? Mm -hmm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will not you. Welcome to the vlog. It's breakfast time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to our breakfast. Ham and eggs. Delicious. I had a plaster on my knee. And, and tea. I had a plaster on my knee and my wrist. Oh, Lula's got a little story. You had a plaster on your knee and on your wrist. That's why I had my wait. wait. That's why I had my plaster and on my leg it really hurt. And then yesterday I took my plaster off from um I took um that small plaster off with a wet flannel, so I just dabbed it and it just came off easily. And then cool. and today I took my um plaster off my knee I think what she's trying to say is she's taken her plasters off you had a bit of a tumble yesterday didn't you mm -hmm. as usual she falls over at school she's always falling over at school hmm more tea Treasure hunting with Pirate Pete. Hello, Pirate Pete. We're off in the woods, aren't we? Treasure hunting. Yeah, got a bit of an event going on in our town. We're doing a pirate treasure theme hunt. So. Down for a ramble in the woods and see what we can find. Yes, this is part of the new relief road they're doing here in Borden. There's major development works going on. Yeah, where we live in Borden, in Hampshire. It used to be home to the army, but they've all shipped out. And now we're getting a whole new town. New relief road, new shops, a bit of everything. And the organisations of Whitehill and Borden Regeneration putting on lots of events. This is certainly bit of uh, engineering going on here I'm not sure exactly how long the uh, road will be this relief road but it's exciting so they keep holding these events for the children <coughs> over the weekends and uh, yeah today is pirate day for a treasure hunt in the woods and some art and crafts. <laughs> so far, we're lost. We haven't found the pirate treasure hunt. I think we're in the middle of nowhere. I think each of us thought we knew where we were going. Bye. 
Well, I think that's the treasure hunt over. We joined half halfway through, didn't we, Lola? What you got? Look at that! And squash on the end here and do colouring. Can I ask you to write the children's names on here so I can give them a certificate? Oh, lovely, yeah. Is that okay? This is okay. The anticipation of waiting for her to come out the slide. That was a, a bit of a disastrous treasure hunt on Tallulah's effort. She's got a bit of a uh, tummy ache. I think she needs the loo. But uh, since coming to the park, she's um, cheered up a bit. It's certainly impressive. The park, or what will be, slides, swings, Stepping stones, flying saucers, there's a car castle. Wait a minute. She's been in the castle. She's had a little sneako in the castle. Ah. And now it's Tallulah's turn. Oh, a panoramic photograph. She's technical. I thought you were sneaking out of the castle. I thought you had a, a little play in the castle. It looks a bit like Windy Castle out of Peppa Pig. Up on the hill. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and explore. Hopefully there's no one in. Hello? Is there anyone in the castle? Yeah. Oh! Who's in the castle? Show yourself! Hello. Ah! Who's that? Got to have good balance. Oh, now that's a tricky one. No, it's not. No, it's not. Maybe. Hey. Whoa! What is this I've just found? It's an old, old chassis from an army vehicle. Wonder how long this has been here. I haven't got a clue what this is. Ah, this. This looks like the turret. Turret of an old tank. So when they were doing their training here on this land, this was obviously part of it. I think the weather's uh, taken its toll. But if you need a share, a, spa a share, a spare chassis for a flatbed lorry, you know where to come and dig one out. It's just amazing what's on your doorstep. And like I was saying, quite a lot of our vlogs, that uh, when we go out and about and take you guys on a bit of a tour, some of the places we go, this is right on our doorstep. Now, we've lived here 12 years I believe this year and I know they're redeveloping that s section here as a park but stuff like this on your doorstep and, and you just don't find it I don't think many people go out on their own doorstep that seems to be a good word today doorstep and explore the place where they actually live I think they walk around with their eyes shut. But um, yeah, some of the stuff here is fantastic. 
and it's going to be an, an exciting place to live when all this is done. You've got all the rejuvenation uh, works of this area. So we're, we're getting a new town, we're getting a relief road, which is going to be fantastic. The amount of HGVs we get coming through here is horrific. It's one of the main routes off of the A3 from south of Port, uh, just north of Portsmouth to get up to Farnham and that, that way. As you can see, this is um, only in its first stage of development. I'm standing on top of what will be a little maze, a spiral maze. Where you walk through at the top. Now I'm not sure what these are. Louise has just asked me and I haven't got a clue what these are. So if any of you know, here in the UK, as I say, this is old British army ground, what these pillars were. Now bear in mind in World War II, we had a railway here, the munitions railway, where the munitions come from. So whether they're part of that, I don't know. But there's quite a few of them scattered around. There's a few more over there. Oh, there's Tallulah trying the um, walkway again that she didn't quite manage. But yeah, as I say, if any of you know, leave a comment below. I'd be fascinated. All of that, I could Google it, I suppose, when I get home. Well, thanks for joining us on our adventure. And we'll see you next time.